Hello everybody, I'm Andy Phillips and this is Iron Concepts number 55. Now I come to you this week with a little bit of a short Iron Concepts. I'm, I'm only just a little bit sleepy and tired. Because over the last few weeks I've been putting in a lot of hours. And we've, we've talked before about how to fight burnout. And we've talked before about how to handle your workload when it becomes overload. We've talked about all those things, and, and that's the sort of stuff that you have to do when you work yourself into a corner, to meet the deadlines that you shouldn't have committed to, and to move forward, hopefully in a smarter way. But that's when you mess up, and you find yourself working 80 hours a week, and it's self-inflicted overload. But many of you listening are business owners, and if you're not an army of one, then most likely you're not much more than that. And the amount of hours that you personally put in can make a big difference in your business, not just from the fact that you're the head of the company or you're the leader and you need to set a good example, but you actually can make a difference in the way that things happen. Even if you do a good job and you keep all your customers happy and you keep all your deadlines on track, working a 40-hour week when you're self-employed seems almost wrong. The temptation, of course, is there to work a little bit late and come into work a little bit early to take the books home with you on the weekend and squeeze just a little bit more out by getting one meeting in on the weekend. After all, if you're passionate about the trade, your shop or even your business, you will want to excel. You'll want to get there quicker. And the only way to do that is through smart work and more hours. Now, I could take the time to point out that the 40-hour work week is there for a reason. And I would point out, too, that most people are only half as productive in their second 40 hours as they are in the first 40 hours that they put in in a week. But I'd be hard-pressed to take that side, to take that argument, because for me it'd make me a hypocrite, first off. But I also think that argument is a little bit of a cop-out. I don't think that's quite the right way to approach passing 40 hours. And that's why this is my argument. Here's what I think is important. Are you happy in life? If you hate your job, don't work your ass off for it. Unless, of course, it makes you a mountain of money and adds up to some kind of long-term happiness that will fulfill your life later on. Next, make sure that you sleep, eat, and take some semblance of care of yourself. If you don't You'll degrade and you'll lose ground later on. And this defeats the purpose of putting in a lot of hours if you're sick and stupid. You have to find a good rhythm for every day and for every week. Your body and mind are built on cycles and you can take advantage of that. Of course, the other side of the coin and the way that a lot of people end up falling down with this is that if you work erratic hours and you drive yourself hard until you crash, then you're right back to the whole being sick and stupid all the time, and that's no good either. And the last thing I want to point out, and this is by far the hardest to do, this is the one that I have the most trouble with and I think requires the most skill and planning. Hour one of a long work week yields the most precise, best results out of you. In other words, make the work matter that you do first off when you're at your best, and then save the mindless work for later on. You see, because 12-hour days, six days a week will get you ahead, but only if you're smart about it. And if you're not, then what's the point? So by all means, make hay while the sun is shining and grow your business while the market is good. You can be smart about it, But if you're not, it's just like forging a piece of black iron. It's a lot of work with no results. But that's about all I've got to say. And I think I think maybe I'll get some sleep now. So thanks for watching. If you're watching this on the Big Blue channel, make sure to hop down in the description below. There's a link over to our new channel, the Iron Concepts channel, where all of these videos are moving. And make sure to hop over there and subscribe. So if you have any thoughts on this subject, make sure to leave a comment. And if you have any topics that you want to delve into in the future, my email is in the description below. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.